Hey everyone, I'm Ian Douglas, the author of the website techinterview.guide. I do live streams every Sunday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern about topics relevant to interview preparation for the tech industry. I occasionally record longer Q&A sessions and I've started to break those into smaller videos to post. And there'll be information at the end of this video about how to get in contact with me if you have additional questions. Let's get to it. Um, do I mention needing time off for therapy in a job interview? If not, when do I ask them for time off? Uh, we've kind of covered this in other streams. It's none of their business. Um, it's none of their business to know that you need to go to therapy. Most companies are going to have some kind of benefits package. That benefits package hopefully will cover mental health, physical health. So if it's physical therapy like I do for my shoulder or mental therapy, like you're going to, to talk to someone. Um, Point Light, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, welcome to the stream. We're just doing uh, kind of general Q and A, but uh, but welcome. If you got questions about interview prep or uh, you know career coaching things like that, drop it in chat. Uh, so to get back to this question, um, do I mention needing that time off for therapy? No, absolutely not. They can bias against you, and you have no idea why. Um, and it's really hard to prove that they've biased against you because you've mentioned that you need time off for therapy. Uh, as a business, once you're hired, I can't stop you from going to therapy, so it's okay. So when do you ask for that time off? Well, once you get the job, once you actually start the job, then you can say, hey, cool, day one. I love I love all this going on. By the way, I need to take Thursday afternoon off because uh, I, I go to a regular therapy session or something like that. They can't say no about that. Um, and if they give you a hard time about it, then now they're discriminating against you for that and you should talk to HR. But that's why companies have benefits packages. Use the benefits package use the benefits that the, that you're paying for uh you know some of the some of the benefits actually comes out of your paycheck so use it same thing with time off go use that time off use it before you need to use it to recover uh, i was mentioning on the on the stream the other night um i saw something on twitter recently that said use the time off to relax so that you don't need to use the time off to recover Something along those lines, if you, if you get kind of the point, like you don't want to, you don't want to get to the point of burnout and then needing to take that time off. Um, but I think that this is the kind of thing that you don't need to bring up in the interview in any way, shape or form. You don't have to mention anything along those lines, any kind of like medical need, uh, therapy, family need, any kind of personal information like that. You don't want to bring up during the interview. Um, some of those kinds of things they're not allowed to ask about either. So you don't even have to worry about, well, what if they ask, then what do I say? You know, they, they shouldn't be asking that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of those things are none of their business. Um, and you can, you can defer and deflect on, on some of that stuff if it does come up. So when do you ask for the time off? You ask for the time off after you get the job and say, cool, these are the days that I go to regular therapy. Um, you know, and, and I'll, I'll do my best to work around my schedule, make sure I'm getting my work done. I'm, it's not going to interfere with my job, but this is a regular thing that I've got going on. And, uh, most companies are going to be very accommodating for that. Hey, thanks for watching. I love helping people out with interview prep, and I hope this video helped you in some way. If you found this Q and A useful, please consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitch as well for the live stream twice a week. Check out techinterview.guide slash streaming for more information. I also have a daily email series that you can subscribe to on the website. There are never any ads, and when you finish the series, I scrub your information out of my database permanently. Finally, if you have a question that you'd like answered on the stream, you can find my contact info on techinterview.guide. I prefer LinkedIn or email. If you leave your question in a YouTube comment, it might take me longer to find it, but I'll see you next time.